Toward the start of the film, we see Adam in an abandoned house. He sees a toy there, seeing that he gets a few flashbacks where he sees his child. Then, we see the dead body of his wife and his child lying out. Then abruptly a little girl flees taking that toy from his hand. Adam begins following her, and he starts hearing the giggling of the girl from all sides. After some time he gets a lantern, and when he picks it up, the girl runs from behind him. He then pursues her and we see that girl standing on the steps behind him. As he turns towards her, she focuses the finger towards him, and we see that the lantern is replaced with the head of a lady, and the screen goes out. Then we see Adam's mom and father, who are concerned that a set of experiences will rehash the same thing. Because of the desire and retaliation of others towards Adam, they lost their daughter-in-law and grandkid. Next, we see Sakana, who is sitting adjacent to her ailing father, as nobody is ready to help them. After this, she goes to her girl on, and here we come to know that they are living away from every one of the locals in a jungle. Then, we see Adam, who is preaching certain individuals. He says that Devil is a specialist in misleading individuals. So there are a few scholars who are off track by Devil, and Ally analyzes such scholars to dogs. After this, we see Abuja who had kept a man named Roman hostage. Since Abuja needed him not to trust in Ally, however, in his teachings, on which Roman says that he has the Korean controlled, Abuja says that he ought to acknowledge his teachings or he will kill him. Roman disagrees to follow him, on which they pour gas on him and burn him. Then, we see Adam's dad who meets a man named Azhar. Azhar lets him know that now their village isn't the same as before. Next, we see Sakina, who is stopped by Abuja and his followers. He tells her that he can tackle her family's concern in a squint of an eye. His dad will be fine, and demons won't ever bother them. Sakina says that no matter how many demons he sends, she will not turn away from Islam. Abuja allows her an opportunity to be her wife, but Sakina disagrees and leaves from there. Now we see the beginning scene, where Adam has a head of a lady in his grasp. Then, there he sees the body of his wife Maria. Only then does he notice somebody behind him. He looks back and starts going upstairs. However, a body hangs there, and when he sees it, it is his body, seeing which he gets terrified. Then, he sees a jinn there who abruptly shows up behind him, and the scene cuts here. After this, we see him with Asmund where he inquires as to why he continues to have a similar dream over and over. Asmund tells him that whatever happened was not his fault. He asks him whether he feels regretful for Maria's death, to which he says he doesn't have any idea. Yet he is certain that there is an unsettled secret connected with Maria's demise. Then, we see a man Malik, who abruptly gets up and afterward calls Sakuna. She goes to his room and sees that he isn't there, and afterward, the door of the room gets shut. Now there was complete darkness in the room, and during this time we see a few jinns there. Next, Anna opens the door and asks Sakina to follow her. Sakina begins pursuing her, and here we see Anna in the storage room above. Sakina sees her and hops on the chair to check up. Yet, though she sees a jinn, seeing which she gets terrified and tumbles down. Then we see that Anna is resting in her room when abruptly her bed moves, because of which she awakens. She then begins hearing some sound from under her bed, yet she sees nobody there. The unfortunate girl rests on the bed in dread, however, abruptly looks back that a jinn is lying on her bed, seeing which she gets extremely terrified and begins running from there. But she notices that somebody has held her foot, and it is a man Malik. She goes to Sakina crying and says that Grandpa is terrifying her. Now Sakina takes her and starts running from the house. However, she hears her dad's voice from a well, who is requesting her help. She looks into the well in dread and abruptly a hand emerges from it and snatches her head. Then we see Azhar reading prayers, when unexpectedly somebody thumps on his door. Azhar opens the door and is stunned to see Sakina and Anna there. Here Sakina asks him for help and lets him know that Abuja has gone excessively far. She requests that he prevent the devils from upsetting her family and save her dad. On hearing this, Azhar says that he knows somebody who can help her in this. Then, we see that Azhar has come to Adam's home to request his assistance. However, Adam's mom is stressed for himself and she doesn't want Adam to do this. However, Adam concludes that he will go visit Imam Malik. Next, we see that Anna does not want to go home for fear of her grandpa, on which Sakina tells her that today somebody will come to their home to help them. All at once, she sees Abuza who comes there with his devotees and starts taking Anna with him. 
She attempts to stop them, yet they attack her and she can't successfully save her girl. Then, Adam apologizes to his mom, saying that he didn't want to hurt her. Her mom explains to him that she is stressed over his well-being, so she doesn't need this to occur. She says that she cannot stand to lose him. Adam says that Ella has given him a gift and he would rather not waste it. He requests her to let him go. Then, Asmund comes there and inquires as to whether he is accompanying them. They need to leave now. Adam's mom lets him go by giving him blessings and says that she wants him at home this evening no matter what happens. Now they were going for helping Imam Malik, where we come to know that the followers of Abuja feel that he is a sacred man. However, every one of the locals didn't have confidence in him, and one of them was Imam Malik, due to which he got sick and Sakana has to face all this. Abuja uses black magic and violence to punish the people who don't follow his teachings. Next, they come to Sakana's home and call her. However, they get no answer. Here Adam says that he will head inside, and the two of them will remain outside and continue to pray. Hearing this, Asmin asks why will he not go inside, and abruptly a force hauls him away. Now before they could comprehend anything, they hear Sakana scream. Adam runs inside the house and starts searching for her. Inside, Sakana lets him know that what is inside the room isn't her dad, and she requests that he save him. Hearing this, Adam begins reading prayers and sees that a shadow is emerging from the room. Adam goes to their room and sees that there is nobody there. Only then the door open itself and a jinn assaults him. Azure on the other hand is looking for Asmin when a power assaults him, and Asmin comes to him. Here Adam is searching for a man Malak when Sakana thumps on the door from outside. When Adam opens the door, there is a jinn there. Fearing that Adam tumbles down, yet the following second Adam sees that there was nobody there. All of a sudden a man Malak comes from behind him which was totally possessed by the jinn. Here Adam begins reading prayers with his hand on his head and calls Asmin. Hearing that Asmin hurries to go inside, yet the door gets shut. Now Adam attempts to stop a man Malak from praying powers, and lastly, he eliminates Jin from his body. Yet during this a man dies. Adam feels that his work is over. However, at that point he hears a few voices from behind, and he sees that Jin had now possessed Sakana, and she is licking the blood of a man Malak. Seeing him, she shouts uproariously because of which Adam, Azure, and Asmin tumble down. Here she says that Satan is her chief and he will come to cut them into pieces. After this, she begins slamming her hands on the floor vigorously, because of which the floor breaks and she flees from that point. Adam comes out and lets them know that Sakana has fled. Then, they see that she is creeping on the wall of the house. After this, she begins running from that point and starts climbing a tree. They all follow her where she tells them that Day of Judgment is drawing near, and orders that they follow Dajjal. After this, they all begin reading prayers, because of which Sakana gradually begins coming down. She then attempts to attack him, however, he keeps on reading prayers, because of which Jin totally turned Sakana's body and was not ready to surrender. However, Adam peruses the last prayers and lastly, Jin leaves Sakana's body. Next. Adam let Sakana know that his dad had died long ago, and a jinn had been sent to live in his body. Now they begin returning from there when Abuser comes there with his devotees. Abuser threatens him not to interfere in the affairs of their village and asks him to leave. Adam doesn't contend with him much and discreetly leaves from there. In any case, Abuser says that he will make sure that he regrets his whole life. Then, we see Sakana who is reading prayers in her home, when her praying beads vanish from her hand. She sees that praying beads are lying close to the dead body of her dad. Seeing this, she gets somewhat scared and picks it up. Then, unexpectedly a man Malik's body moves, fearing that she flees. When she returns, she sees that a man Malik's body isn't there. Then, abruptly she sees Malik right close to her, seeing which she falls in dread. On the other hand, three of them are returning, where they are wondering how Abuja came to know that Adam has come to their village because they had kept this thing a secret. Here we see that Adam's health was deteriorating, seeing that Asmin is very astounded. Adam says that he is feeling his body hot. He inquires as to whether he isn't feeling like this, and really at that time does he see that he is alone in the boat. Now Adam is shocked to see this and here he hears a voice, which says that that day I had come to your place and today you visited my place. Adam asks her who she is and what she wants from him. She says that he generally helps individuals yet in reality he needs help. She tells him that he is sick and she can help him. All at once, he hears the voice of Asmin from the water who is asking him for help. 
and when he goes to see him, abruptly Jin emerges from the water and attacks him. However, we see that Adam is at his home and his dad and Asmin attempting to quiet him down. Asmin lets him know that yesterday he had fainted in the boat. Adam asks him about Sakana and her dad, to which his dad lets him know that Azhar had securely buried a man Malik's body. On the other hand, we see that Abuja is about to sacrifice Anna. However, Sakana comes there and starts attacking Abuja's followers with an axe. Here we come to know that Anna is actually Abuja's daughter. She asks him if he will murder his own girl, to which Abuja leaves Anna and says that he will see how far a mother's sacrifice goes. Then, we see Adam who is in bad health and notices that there are worms emerging from his cuff. He then sees Abuja standing in his home, and out of nowhere Jin assaults him. Jin holds him by his neck and lifts him up high. Hearing voices outside, his dad and mom come out, and Asmin tells that Adam isn't in his room. Now they come out from the house to track down Adam. Here in the house, his mom shuts the door. Yet the door opens exceptionally quickly because of which his mom falls on the ground. Then, she sees somebody there and the scene moves to Sakuna. She awakens from rest and sees that Anna is standing some distance away. She begins pursuing her and arrives at a forest. Anna tells her that she wants to go to her dad. Hearing this, Sakuna hugs her, but afterward, Anna comes there and asks her why did she leave her in the cave. Here Sakuna is stunned to see this and we see that she is really holding a gem. Seeing this, she gets exceptionally frightened and begins running, however falls. And we see that Jin is holding her feet. She some way or another frees herself and starts fleeing with Anna. Then, we see Adam again at a similar place where he sees Maria's dead body. There he sees somebody above and runs upstairs to see him. He sees himself above who apologizes to him and says that he didn't push Maria with intent. After this, he attacks him by turning into a djinn, and then Adam winds up in a river, where Jin lets him know that he isn't safeguarding Islam but guarding himself. He tells Jin not to meddle with his psyche and confidence once more. Jin here advises him to return home, as somebody he loves the most is confronting the holy messenger of death. Here Adam realizes that he loves his mom the most and he runs towards home. On the other hand, abuses devotees come to get Sakana, seeing that she begins running with Anna. They begin chasing her, and while running she enters the forest. After some time she feels that she has gone away from them. However, at that point, Abuja attacks her and knocks Anna down as well. After this, he begins attacking Sakuna. Yet she takes the name of Allah with courage and starts battling with them. Seeing this, Abuja additionally gets somewhat frightened. However, Omar assaults Sakuna because of which she blacks out. Adam arrives at home and asks about his mom. He begins searching for her all around the house yet can't find her. Adam angrily asks Esmond about his mom, to which his dad says that she is dead. After his vanishing, they were searching for him when they heard his mom scream, and when they returned home, they saw she was dead. Adam understands that Abuja has done this and becomes exceptionally furious. Now Adam was extremely friend and he says that he can't do this any longer, on which his dad explains to him that he shouldn't surrender. On the other hand, Abuja catches Sakuna and carries her to his basin. Here they all begin raping her together. Then, we see that Adam is preaching to individuals of the village that Islam is their religion, and they should worship Allah only. He tells them that Abuja is not perfect. Here Omar comes to Abuja and lets him know that Adam is in their town and is preaching. Now Abuja arrives at Adam with his followers and says that he should also bow down before him. Adam tells him that he will complain to the authorities and he knows that he has killed his mother. Then. We see Adam and Azhar talking when the followers of Abuja show up there. Seeing them, Adam asks Azhar to leave. Now they come to Adam and assault him. On the other hand, Adam's dad and Asman are talking when Azhar comes running and lets them know that the devotees of Abuja have caught Adam. Next, Adam finds himself locked in a coffin where he sees that a spoiled body is lying next to him. Then a few hands begin holding him and Adam begins reading prayers. He continues to read prayers and lastly, he breaks the coffin and emerges from it. When he comes out he sees many bodies covered with clothes. He then takes off the cloth from one of them and is shocked to see the burned body. Then, he notices the same jinn is standing behind him, who out of nowhere attacks him. Abuja tells Sakuna that if she doesn't want him to murder her daughter and let them both go, she needs to do something for him. Here Azra and Adam's dad additionally arrive at that old house. They head out in different directions to track down Adam. Now we see the evil presence behind Azure, who gradually begins moving towards him.
However, when Azure turns back, there is nobody there. On the other hand, possessed Adam attacks his dad. On hearing his voice, Azure approaches him and sees the possessed Adam. Seeing this, Azure starts reading prayers, and Adam proceeds to attack him. However, Azure stops him with prayers powers and pushes him back. Azure keeps on reading prayers, due to which Adam falls unconscious after a while. They think that Jin has left him, so his dad goes to him. However, unexpectedly Adam gets his dad's neck and lifts him up, and tosses Azure back too. He tells Adam's dad that his child is dead. Now Azure comes there and asks Adam to fight with Satan. Seeing this Adam moves towards him. However, Azure stops him with his prayers and Satan currently begins suffering badly. After some time Adam begins spewing blood and lastly, Azure ousts Jin from inside him. Then Adam's dad advises Azure to call his companions for help prior to anything turning out badly. On hearing this, Azure begins leaving from there. However, we see that somebody slits Azure's throat. He additionally attacks Adam's dad and takes Adam out of there. Outside, Sakina says that Adam takes advantage for the sake of religion. She says that Adam had raped her before her daughter. Hearing this, the villagers are stunned. Adam asks her why is she doing all this. Now villagers say that they can't blindly trust Abuja and they need evidence. Then Asman comes there and says that he is the proof. He says that he has raped Sakina, as well as numerous young ladies. Adam is very amazed to hear this, and his dad likewise becomes exceptionally irate at Asma. However, the followers of Abuja get him and begin beating him. Seeing this, Adam becomes extremely furious and begins battling with them. Now Asma goes to Adam and lets him know that he is the one who killed Maria. Adam tells him that he knew long ago that he had pushed Maria, because he had seen him in his dreams. Now Abuja blames Adam for being an adherent of Dajjal, ties him, and starts taking him to execute. Sakina and Asman try to convince Abuja not to kill Adam, but rather he doesn't pay attention to them and hangs Adam. Now here Adam requests to Allah. He tells Allah not to leave him alone. Here Asman additionally understands his mistake and starts saying sorry to Adam. Sakina likewise laments her activities and moves to save Adam. However, Abuja kills her as well. Here Adam recollects that he had killed his mom and possessed state. Now Adam begins reading prayers, and there the weather conditions unexpectedly begin deteriorating. There the lightning begins and an earthquake occurs. Fearing that the devotees of Abuja begin running from that point, Omar bursts into flames and burns seriously, and a wall falls on Abuja. After some time all that quiets down, and Adam's dad brings him down. Adam asks his father, he killed his mom, if he is a good Muslim, will Allah forgive him? Furthermore, after that Adam also dies and the film closes here. Thanks for watching.